Luca, I'm recording, man. Okay, so apparently my dog wants to be a part of this video. So we're gonna let him. We'll be a part of the video. Come on, let me too. I love you. Okay. What's up guys? I feel like I'm kind of close to the camera. First of all, a happy new year to each and every one of you guys. Hopefully your 2022 was all that you desired for it to be. And I pray that your 2023 is even better and that God gives you all of your heart's desires this year. But more so, I pray that 2023 is a year that you walk in your divine purpose. Because that's what I pray for myself, that I walk in my divine purpose this year. I don't want to do anything outside of God, but... But anyways, so today y'all, I wanted to come up here and talk to you about something that I literally just found out. Honestly, I had a few people mentioning this to me in my DMs. Um, a few of you guys had mentioned it to me and I hadn't heard about it. But recently I have heard about it and I just felt like I wanted to come up here and share the information that I found out with you guys. Um, I'm kind of reluctant in a way because it's like, you know, it's kind of against what I promote on my channel. I'm more so promoting like holistic um, methods of healing and wellness. And this is more so like conventional treatment. But I felt like I do like to provide information to you guys that might be helpful. Some of you guys might want to try this, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so that's what I'm just going to share with you guys today excuse me if i look over to the right it's because i got my laptop up i don't want to like give you i don't want to give you guys like false information i want to make sure i have all of my facts here so basically the fda has approved the first once daily pill for adults with severe alopecia areata okay so the name of this pill is called Illumiant and it looks like it comes in four milligram tablets two milligrams or one milligram so in clinical studies of adults with 50% to 100% scalp hair loss Illumiant was shown to provide significant hair growth in some people in some people resulting in 80% scalp coverage in 36 weeks so this is a jack inhibitor and for those of you guys who don't know what a jack inhibitor is they basically block the t cell mediated inflammatory response so basically they just block inflammation all right all right guys sorry i had to switch to my other camera because my battery died okay so it looks like it was two randomized double blind placebo control trials trial aa1 and trial aa2 and all of these are with patients who had at least 50 percent scalp hair loss so patients in these trials received either a placebo uh two milligrams of aluminum or four milligrams of aluminum every day and the primary measurement of efficacy for both trials was a proportion of patients who achieved at least 80 percent scalp hair coverage at week 36. So in the first trial, AA1, 22% of the 184 patients who received 2 milligrams of Illumiant and 35% of the 281 patients who received 4 milligrams of Illumiant achieved adequate scalp hair coverage compared to the 5% of the 189 patients who received the placebo. And then in trial 2, 17% of, of the 156 patients who received 2 milligrams of Illumiant and 32% of the 234 patients who received 4 milligrams. And those patients achieved adequate scalp hair coverage compared to the 3% of the 156 patients who received the placebo in that trial. So for my research, it's looking at about 30% of patients who are taking this drug, they're achieving about 80% um, of, of hair growth, which is... Which is actually pretty, pretty phenomenal. Okay, so let's talk about side effects though. So this is the drawback for me, okay? Even though this pill is achieving such remarkable results, there are some horrible side effects. So let me just read you them. Side effects. Illumiate may cause serious side effects including serious infections. Anywhere from TB to shingles. And people have died from these infections. 
They also said increased risk of death in people 50 years of age or older who have at least one heart disease risk factor and are taking a medicine in a class of in a class of medicines called jack inhibitors. Um, cancer and immune system problems. This pill may increase your risk of lymphoma and other cancers, including skin cancers. Uh, people taking medicine in the class of medicine called jack, jack inhibitors have a higher risk of certain cancers, including lymphoma and lung cancer, especially if you are a current or past smoker. There's also increased risk of major cardiovascular events such as heart attack, stroke, or death. And people 50 years of age and older um, and who have at least one heart risk factor in taking medicine in the class of medicine called jack inhibitors. So if you're already taking jack inhibitors, this ain't, this ain't it for you. Also, blood clots in the veins of your legs, lungs, and arteries. Allergic reactions. Um, tears in the stomach of the intestines. Um, also, changes in the test results of your uh, lab results. Um, Headaches, acne, increased cholesterol levels, increased muscle enzyme levels, urinary tract infection, increased liver enzymes, inflammation of the hair follicles, tiredness, lower respiratory tract infections, nausea, genital yeast infection, low red blood cell count, anemia, um, low white blood cell count, stomach area, abdominal pain, shingles, increased weight, um, what else? And that's just to name a few. So with those side effects, that was just an automatic no for me. Um, but then again, there's a lot of medicine out here on the market that has pretty much some similar side effects. And we probably, i probably taken it myself. And I'm pretty sure you've already taken it. Um, but I mean, with anything, um, any conventional medicine, most things, they're going to have side effects. So at the end of the day, it's like it's up to you guys and whether or not you want to take it. Um... But yeah, those side effects just like threw me off guard, and I'm just like, no, <laughs> I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be the first in line to take this. I mean, don't get me wrong, the results seem to be pretty promising, and I've even read that they actually have maybe one or two more drugs that may be approved sometime next year for alopecia. It's gonna be a no for me. I'm gonna continue to heal. Um, from within I want to get down to the root cause and it's still the same It's inflammation. So there are natural ways to Limit or reduce inflammation. It doesn't have to be a quick fix like a pill if society would get to the point where we teach that healing starts from within and healing is Better off if we get to the root cause of what's causing the problem and treat it from the inside out then we will be a lot better off that way, but yeah that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Again, I'm a no, but let me know what you guys think. If you guys are on this medicine, let me know how it's going for you. I want to know how you're feeling. I want to know your personal, um, your your personal side effects, your personal experience. So let me know. Um, so yeah, let me know how you guys feel. But yeah, I just figured I would come up here and share. There may be people out here who are looking for an option, looking for something that may help treat their alopecia and are willing to um, make that sacrifice or willing to take the chance and try something um, that may help. So I just felt like I should share. Um, I don't want to say too much because I don't want anyone to feel like they're wrong if they want to try this. I just personally don't. I'm not jumping for joy for this. This is incredible. You know, it basically backs up my thoughts anyway. My research is inflammation. But, of course, society wants to create a pill. Everything has to be quick, you know. But it is what it is. So, yeah, guys, I really want you guys to talk to me. Y'all need to talk to me about this. How do you guys feel about this pill? Are any of you guys on it? Or have any of you guys heard about it? How are you guys feeling about this? And if you have taken this medicine, I want to know your results. Like, how are you feeling? Have you had any side effects? Like, please comment. Leave it down below because I'm really curious. And I'm sure other people out here are curious to, to know how it's really going. Because um, I know they can put anything on the internet, you know. But I let us know. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all that I wanted to share. I love y'all, and I will see you guys in my next video.